everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday to you. I hope that you had a good week and a wonderful Thanksgiving. We had a really good time. We had <laughs> lots of good food. And I posted some of the things that I made to take over to my brother's house. And several of you were interested in the recipes. So, I am going to post... Um, Gosh, I, I don't think I'll put all of them down below, but I'll at least put my, I think I'll start with the pecan pie muffins. I will put that recipe down below. My mother-in-law used to make those for me, and so it's kind of a sentimental recipe, and they're very easy, and I think they were the star of the show at our little gathering last night. I think I had them in a bowl just kind of sitting there, and we were waiting for, we had a turkey and a ham. And my brother is really good at cooking on the grill, and he has all these, he has this fancy grill. It's a smoker grill, and that's where the turkey was cooking. And so anyway, while they were doing that, um, you know, one at a time, they started trying those muffins, and everybody was just crazy about them. I had to send the recipe out, so, and they're real easy, so, but they are very fattening. <laughs> They've got good stuff in them, and you have to like pecans, of course. Okay, this week, I did not get a lot of stuff. I have several samples that I got here. I think I went out, my kids went to school Monday and Tuesday, and then they were out Wednesday and Thursday and today, of course. So I think it was either Monday or Tuesday. I did go to the mall, and I could not wait to tell you guys know that I had today. been just, for some reason, it's like I told you, everything that I was using did not look good. It was like the tone of my makeup didn't look good. The tones of my eyeshadows didn't look good. It was like I was, I got rid of my rich vanilla powder from Laura Mercier. I thought maybe it was just the end of the little thing and I got, I had a new one, a backup, so I went ahead and opened it. I was just trying to think of everything I could to figure out what it was that was going wrong. So this week I went and got some new foundations to try and I was smart enough to get samples of all of them because I do hate taking stuff back. I do think that it's, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but if I can, I try to get a sample. Some places just won't give them to you or it's just not as easy. Okay, so the first thing I got was Studio Fix Fluid from MAC NC37. And I think the color, I'm not gonna open it because it's yuck. You know, it's got it all over the lid and stuff. But I think that's going to be a good color for me. This is what I started off with today. And I did, you know, bronzer, blush, powder, everything. And I think I got all the way to um, my eyes. And I didn't like the shadow that I had put on my eyes. So I ended up taking my eye makeup off, putting something else, putting something else on. And then... I, I can't remember, this happened so much today, I can't remember Wait, the order I, of events. First, I washed off my eye makeup. Then, I just got to looking at my face, and it just looked so gray and just terrible. So, I thought, okay, well, I don't like the Studio Fix. So, I took one of my wipes out. I've been using those simple wipes, and um, I've liked those so far. So, I took all my makeup off. Then, the next thing I tried was, I said, okay, I'm just going to forget it. Because I knew I was getting ready for this video, and to go out today and do some stuff. And, um, it, and it is Black Friday, but I don't do Black Friday shopping. The most I might do today is um, I am going to stop by Ulta because I saw this and remembered that Tarte is having an event um, tomorrow at Ulta. And I messaged the makeup artist that I met, and she said I had to make an appointment. It's from 11 to 6, and it is a food drive. And so I need to get some stuff to take to that. Of course, I've got plenty of stuff I can take. But um, anyway, so I'm going to get a Tarte makeover tomorrow. i got to go and make an appointment. And um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm interested to try, see what they put on me. A lot of you told me that the Amazonian Clay Foundation works better for young skin. So we'll see about that. And it looks like they've got a new um, mascara out too, dual-sided. And it looks like, this was interesting to me because it looks like that side might be like a comb or something. Oh gosh, I'm so glad I thought about this. I tried that Avon Mascara, that crazy looking one that I got a couple weeks ago. I had misplaced it and did not know where it was. And then I came across it and I thought, well, I'm going to use this today. Oh my gosh. Not only is it just weird and kind of difficult to use, it was so globby 
it made my eyelashes, which are puny anyway, look like I had like two and a half eyelashes. It just clumped them up so bad. And then um, I ended up, you know, getting it on me underneath and it was just terrible. It's in my empties container but then I have a huge empties I'm gonna do next week so anyway back to my story today so I put on went to put on my makeup forever HD which I have always loved I've just bought my third bottle of it and it didn't look good either and I was I had taken a shower this morning I had my hair put in a towel and I went over and was taking my hair out of the towel and it just looked terrible and I'd already put on bronzer blush and I took that off. So the makeup I have on now is the third set of makeup, you know, bronzer, blush, everything, whole makeup that I have put on today. And I don't think ever in my whole life I have done that, taken my makeup. Usually I just go with it. And so I was, what did I try the third time? What did I try? Oh, one that I really like. I wore this yesterday and I liked it. It is the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Makeup. And I think this is in shade Natural. And then I'll go ahead and tell you the other ones I got. I got the MAC Mineralized Moisture Foundation, which is supposed to be, they said, similar to the Giorgio Armani. And I got that in NC35. I got, um, let's see, that's not, that was an, a cream. Um, this is the Elizabeth Arden, and I can't open this, but it is the... Oh goodness, it's the one that um, the makeup artist that I talked to on Instagram told me to get. I can't remember, Skin Illusion, I think, like that, and I think the shade is Honey. So I haven't even tried that one yet. So then I go to put on the Bobbi Brown, and it looks the best, and I was putting on my powder, and it just was starting to look funny, and it hit me. All of a sudden, it hit me. We changed light bulbs. About, I think, two weeks ago or three weeks ago, John got those swirly Q looking light bulbs and one that look, ones that look like this at Costco, the ones that were on sale for $3 for a pack. And he put them in his on his side of the bathroom. He has a different vanity. And they were so bright. You know, my bulbs were just the regular little bulbs and I always put 40 watts in because I always hated for them to get too hot. Well, his bulbs that he put in were 60 watts. So every time I would walk over there to do something, because a lot of times I'll do my makeup at one and my hair at the other. And every time I'd walk over there, it was just so bright and wonderful. I had him put those bulbs in my side. And I think that's what's done it. I think that is what's, because I even noticed that even when I hate my makeup at my counter, once I got out in the car or away from my bathroom, I liked it. And I just thought to myself, oh, you're just making a big deal. You're being too picky when you're putting it on. So I think that is it. So beware if you change your light bulbs, especially from a regular light bulb into one of those. And I'll put the, the name of the ones I changed to down there. But so what I'm going to do now is just get some more of the kind that I was using in the 60 watt instead of the 40 watt. So I am very, very relieved at that. So let me go on with my pitiful little haul here. The best thing I got this week was a gift, and I'll show you that at the end. But when I was at the Bobbi Brown counter, I picked up this cream shadow, and I cannot remember who I saw using this. I'm thinking it was Samantha off of Pixie Woo. That's who I'm thinking, but I'm not sure. And it is the Longwear Cream Shadow in Beach Bronze. And whoever did it just used this all over their lid and all around and I think just put on mascara. And um, it's just a real pretty, I like it because I think it's it's bronze, but it's, I don't know, it's not too goldy bronze. I think it's got good color. And I forgot that I can swatch. So here, let me swatch better than that. I think it's just got enough depth that we can wear this without having to put anything over it, which is kind of my goal when I get cream shadows. To me, I mean, what's the point if I gotta put something over it? Unless it's just purely a base or something, but, and um, so that's really pretty. And then um, last Friday, I think, when I went into Ulta, I went ahead and picked up the other Stila, it's, what are they called? Custom Color Blush, self-adjusting. I had gotten the self-adjusting coral, I went ahead and got the pink. And this is what I have on today. I don't know if you can really see it. I didn't put it on too heavy because I was at that time still freaking out about my 
camera or whatever. And this looks so kind of lavender when I'm looking at it, but maybe it doesn't for you. But it is bright pink. I mean, bright, 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 bright pink. Barbie, like Pepto Biz Blue Pink. It's actually, it looks just like Pink Swoon, but I think it's got a little bit more pigment, but really pretty. And those seem to last a long time too. And then I picked this up at the MAC counter. It is the Prep and Prime little highlighter pen. I've got the Radiant Rose, but I've seen so many people use this one on tutorials, and this one is called Light Boost. And it's supposed to be good for, um, let me swatch it. This one just seems to me to have a different texture. To me, my, um, I don't, it might be a coincidence, but to me the Radiant Rose is thicker. This one just seems um, a little bit more, I don't know, watery, for lack of a better word, but, um, and a little bit more, I don't know, but anyway, this is what's good for highlighting, you know, it's what I see people do with it anyway. I haven't really used it a lot. Matter of fact, today I still use Radiant Rose. I think I already had this sitting out here. So I'm gonna go wipe my hands off real quick and, and I'll be right back. The best thing that I got this week is I got a surprise package from Dean Davidson. And you guys know I love his jewelry. And he sent me some of his new pieces. pieces. Yes. And he sent me a code for you guys. He says that you guys have been so good to him that he is providing a code. I believe it's Lisa DD. And it will be a one-time code for you to use and get 25% off of anything from his website. So I thought that was really cool. And I was excited to tell you about that. So the first thing that he sent me is this, which is the Pyramid Pave necklace. I'm not sure if it's called a collar, but it's like a collar necklace and I've got it on the loosest. It's adjustable. So yesterday I wore it with a crew neck sweater and I wore it a little bit tighter. I wore it for Thanksgiving and it is beautiful. I hope that you can see the little, oh, it's just gorgeous. And this is what I told him. I said, I love stuff like this with just graphic t-shirts. And then like yesterday I wore it more dressed up with a black sweater and it's just beautiful and of course got compliments on it then the next thing he sent me is the pave stud pyramid ring to go you guys remember when he sent me these and th this one has the like little crystals in it and they're you know flush they're just beautiful oh, and i love this i had just seen on i don't know if it was the housewives of beverly hills or if it was that other show sir but lisa vanderpump was driving and she had a big row of rings on her finger and i loved it and that's what this reminds me of and i love the best thing about these is the way they turn naturally they'll turn all different ways and it just looks so cool i love these and they're very very comfortable if i want something to put on that i know is not going to bug me throughout the day these are like that they're just real soft and they just don't bother me then he sent me a little surprise he sent me a new castle ring and you guys know how much I love this. And I, if I had to say this is the green onyx, it's just beautiful. If you just get one thing, I would suggest getting a castle ring. They're just so pretty and so they're edgy. That's all of his stuff is so edgy and glam at the same time. I mean, you could wear this with your jeans and a t-shirt or your nicest dress, you know, for a party. It's beautiful and it's so different. And then, let's see. Okay, the other one I have on. It is the Onyx. Look how gorgeous that is. Cuff. Let me take it off. I have it with, um, I can't remember the other, the name of this cuff or this little thing. I think it's, it's, it was Lisa something. It was one of those celebrity jewelry lines, kind of like Rich Rocks or something. But look at this, how gorgeous that is. And I'll put the name to all of these below so you'll know exactly. Or hopefully when I edit, when I hold up each thing, I'll put their real name so you'll know which one everything is. So thank you so much, Dean and Kat, his assistant. Um, she helps him pick it out, and I appreciate it very much. They're both, and I follow them on Instagram, and then I'll put his website down below. But don't forget about that. I'm going to go put on my shoes and do a quick outfit of the day and let you guys go. Today, I have on this t-shirt. You guys have... Oh, I know you've seen it when I bought it. I don't know if you've seen me wear it before, but it's my Johnny Cash t-shirt that I love and it's from gap last year and i believe it is a man's it was in the men's section and i believe it's a small and one of the things i like about it is it fits kind of snug right here so it just you know fits perfectly i don't have to tuck it in or anything 
And then these are the pants that I showed you guys last week that I got from Ashley at Four Seasons Five Things. And oh my gosh, you guys, these pants are so comfortable and so they're comfortable and they look good at the same time. They're like the faux leather and they're Monroe and they are the track pants. And um, I sent her a picture of me with them on and she said that this is the way they're supposed to fit. They're just not real big right here, which I think is probably a good thing. And then let me try to, I think I learned how to work my tripod to teach it. So here are the track pants that I got from Ashley. And like I said there, what I love about them is they're kind of fitted and then they have the cuffs at the bottom. And so they're casual, but still just does something different. And then I have on my Manolo BB pumps. And then I'll probably put on, I don't know what jacket I'll put on. Probably, if I had to guess, um, probably my white fluffy one. Something that's totally different. <laughs> John's helping me. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, you guys <laughs> already know about my accessories. And I think, I feel like I'm forgetting something. It's been kind of a hectic week. Um, thank you so much for all of your just nice comments and your sweet comments on Instagram. And I have I've done it a few times. I keep forgetting. But I did figure out what you guys were talking about with um, connecting my, when I post something on Instagram, to click the Twitter button. So hopefully I will get in more of a habit of that. And I have been doing that. So for those of you that are on Twitter but not on Instagram, that way all my photos will go through there. Just, you know, I do kitty pictures and outfits and lip combos and all that silly stuff. So I think that's it. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Like I said, I have, I'm anxious to try a tutorial on my new camera. And um, I have a huge basket of empties to go through. I, I actually need to get that done because it's spilling over. And um, I, feel, I know there's something I'm missing, but maybe I'll be back tomorrow and tell you if there and is. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.